Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in a prior video we took a look at this flashlight. This is the BSS version 4 from Through Night. Now when I say BSS, well that's Black Scout Survival. Jack from Black Scout Survival has been putting together specifications for his flashlights. Not just flashlights, but also weapon lights. And here, well, this is the Through Night TW10. This TW10 being a weapon light, it goes on pretty much the front of a firearm with a Picatinny rail adapter or a Glock adapter. Now, this here is, I would say, in that sort of mid-size range. It's not a compact light by any means and therefore would fit better either on, I would say, a mid-size firearm or a larger firearm. So full-size handgun, mid-size handgun, not quite the compact. So here I have my SIG P365XL. Well, it doesn't quite fit on this, but I know exactly where this TW10 will work out mighty nice. So what we're going to do when we get back, we're going to stop over with my buddy Brad, take a look at this TW10, get it on his firearm, check it for overall function, and then we're going to come back to the studio and I'm going to show you this in a little more detail. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Food Night who did provide this product for review. Bradford. Eric. How are you, my man? What's happening? Hanging out. Glad to be here at yeah. Black Sunshine Studios, yep. BSS Studios. BSS. Well, we're actually going to look at a BSS product today, but not Black Sunshine Studios. This is Black Scout Survival. Mm -hmm. So uh, this here, the TW10 from Through Night. Mm -hmm. uh, Brad, we're going to take a look at this today. Now I'm going to have you do a little bit of an unboxing. I've done this a number of times okay. for myself. And I haven't seen this yet, so yeah. that, that's a good idea. That would be a nice uh, opportunity for you to do a little unboxing here. Now, we're going to look at this in a couple of different applications, one of which is specifically not going to work, and the other one I think is going to work very, very well. Right. So um, first and foremost, before we go too far, so I just want to start by saying this is a full-size weapon light. It's not a mini light. So for something like, say, for example, this is the P365XL. This is a compact style firearm. And if you look here, so just real quick, safety check. Everything's clear. But you'll notice that with this, I put the Picatinny rail adapter. So mm -hmm. we're going to break this out real quick. Look at it in terms of this application, mm -hmm. just show you that it's not going to work on the smaller firearm. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pull out the SIG P320, which in that case, I think it's going to work pretty darn well. All right, so um, I have to say, this feels, almost feels like a jewelry box. I mean, it is cardboard, but it's got that magnetic latch, like, yep. here it is, right? Really uh, very hard, firm foam holding the, uh, holding the actual light in here, wrapped in a pretty generic bag. And here's your light. Um, under mount, obviously, on the rail. Got Black Scout Survival right there on the side. Very cool. So this looks like... Did you swap this out already? Yeah, I had already taken this out and uh, got it set up for a Picatinny rail. It comes set up already for, for a, Glock, a Glock, right? Yeah, yes, I read that. Right. Yeah, okay. So um, this is the adapter you got to put on to get the Picatinny on. And it's just a thumb screw that you can get on and off very, very easily. Um, you know, it's got it's got a nice little bit of berth that you can you can move it, it's fine. So these come, um, what you wanna do is you wanna tighten this down. They do that for safety to preserve the battery. So we'll tighten that up tight. And then these have little, really nice actually, really click buttons on the side. I'll do it this way too. So you can click it once. And that's a really good throw, I'll tell you right now. I can already tell in a, in a very bright room that it can throw really far. And then the other thing you can do is you can hold it and then let it go and it goes off. Which is kind of cool if you just really want to check something quick and say, what's over there? Nothing. All right, I'm done. And you want to kind of stay um, stealth a little bit. But yeah, it's really heavy. It's really, I mean, I don't know how I, it, I feel like... I feel like you could throw this against a wall in it. You know, as long as you didn't hit that, it, it would be it would be solid. Here's your charging port back here. What if I can, oh, comes right open. There's your USB-C, which would go right into your wall wart. 
and here so I'll start loosening this because we're gonna prep to put this on the gun um, we'll show you how large this is against a compact firearm like the 365 or the 365 XL you'll see it's it's actually too long to go on the barrel of the gun in front of the trigger guard so it, it won't suit you if you're if you're carrying a 365 or or if you have one in your house or an XL um, this isn't your go-to but if you're carrying anything like uh, again we're gonna show you a 320 we're gonna mount this onto a 320 and um, you know it it fits really nice and it really throws well so it's a really good um, you know like a standard install or a permanent install I should say um, that will live in your safe and it's it's really for your home protection gun um, or maybe if you're uh, some sort of security officer or if you're a police officer um, I can see this being a really good um, option for you yeah so for the example here again the SIG P365 XL you'll notice that I have a rail adapter on here that's one thing about this particular firearm it does have a proprietary rail so if you want to go to Picatinny you have to add an adapter um, so here the uh, recover tactical adapter and just looking at this here you'll notice there is absolutely no way that that's going to fit on there too much depth uh, behind the actual mount and that will not go on however again going back to the slightly larger handgun what yep. we'll see here with the 320 again we are safe we are clear we are open no mag in the firearm so I'll just drop this down and here you can see it's a much larger firearm um, I would call this a subcompact maybe not a full size um, but again this is you would think that you could take this and you would just slide it on that's not actually how these work. You, you want to loosen the spring. You can actually see that these don't slide on. It, when you pull, it pulls against this spring that's in, on the inside of the thumb screw. So you wanna, what you want to do is you want to brace the, the rail against the moving side and then the stationary side will snap in. So I'll show you right now. So you take this and then that just goes on like that. And all you do is tighten this up. And you don't want to go too, too tight, just hand tight. As you can see, I can, I can hold the gun from the, from the light and it's not going to go anywhere. It's pretty sturdy. And there you are, there you have it. So this is almost back. I could slide it back a little bit more if I wanted to, I think. And then it comes out and it hangs out. The light hangs out off the, the muzzle of the gun, maybe three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch, I'd say. Um, but again, it's definitely, a larger light um, for a permanent install, I would say. I don't think you're gonna wanna, you can't carry this light, um, even with a Kydex holster that would hold that. I mean, I, I guess you could, but it just seems awfully bulky uh, for that purpose. Now, if this is gonna live in your safe and it's gonna be ready to go, should something ever happen, um, I think this is a perfect light. I mean, you can see when I, when I hold the firearm in my hands and I bring it up to my firing position, my lock position, and I have pretty small hands. I'm not a, I'm not a big guy. I'm only 5'7", and my thumb reaches that pretty easily. So I can just, again, click it on, and now I'm on, I'm, I'm searching, click it off, or you can hold and then get off it, and it shuts off. So that would be like, I want to look over here, Nothing over there, I'm done. I wanna look over here, I'm done. And again, this is reversible, so it's it's left and right accommodatable. Uh, very sturdy. I don't see this coming off the gun anytime soon. Seems like a really nice light to me. We're gonna go take a look and see how far it throws in the dark, I think, after this. All right, so here we are in the dark, and we're just gonna show you the throw of the light. As you can see, it lights up. Here are my kids' bikes, nobody's there, keep moving. I'll show you the on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. I will say, I've seen lights that are a much more directional throw. Not, not laser directional, but much more tunnel throw. This is a light up the entire area. However, again, for a home defense light, that's probably what you want because it even lights up my peripheral vision. I can actually look and see, look through the windows of my car right now and I can see 
the two pass the passenger and the driver's seat of this car and this car. So it's throwing not a tunnel, it's throwing almost a semicircle of light around this gun, this weapon. Which I like. This is very cool. You can see, even if you look up against the door, you can see where the light is, but you can see how wide the throw is. But it's very bright. Now we're gonna go outside and we're gonna see how it does in the driveway. We're gonna shut the lights off. So as you can see, throws a lot of nice light coming down the stairs. And you can see, if we go up here, it throws into my trees. I don't know how much of you, that you can get, but the trees, my mailbox, my neighbor's probably wondering why I'm shining this light in his front door, but it really does a nice job of lighting up. Even my outside driveway, and we are in the woods. Let me assure you, we got one street light and a couple of house lights around us. And here, we can, we can see pretty well. A very bright light, a very sturdy light, definitely built for more of a full size or a, or a compact firearm, not a subcompact carry firearm, but a great home light, a great um, security light if you work for a security or work protection of some sort, or even a police officer, you know, circumstance. I don't know, you'd probably have to get a custom holster to hold this. Obviously it's a bigger barrel with the light underneath, but um, very sturdy, very bright, a little bit on the big side, but does a good job. And so, all right guys, there you have it, a look at the TW10. Now, at 900 lumens output and about 125 meters of throw, that is very nice for a weapon light. I like the fact that they decided to go with that wide diffuser. It's very easy to see. It actually doesn't really kill your night vision too bad, and it's not overly distracting. Now, you do get less of that defined hot spot, but I don't find that to be a problem at all. In fact, I do actually really like it. Now, a couple of things. One for me, it's just a little bit of a bummer that it doesn't fit on the slightly more compact firearms. Even something like the 365 XL just ends up a little bit shy. Now, there is another adapter that I can get for this 365 XL. And if I did, it actually extends my Picatinny rail. And at that point, it would fit on this firearm. So would it work for the sort of small compacts? In some cases, yes. And at that, if you look at it, it would stick out a little bit, but not too bad. So I will probably revisit this when I can sort of adapt more appropriately to my 365 XL. Uh, but for the meantime, this is going to do a great job on the SIG P320. I mean, fantastic for that gun. Uh, looks the part, fits on there nicely. I like the mechanism, that spring neck mechanism here. Very nice. It does a nice job in giving you the room that you need, clipping it in place, and then just using that little thumb screw to tighten it down. Very easy to get on the buttons. I mean, no problem, right hand, left hand, very easy. The momentary press is nice. It's a good positive click. You don't have any issues or any worry that you're not gonna find the button. And even at that, it's almost impossible to depress it accidentally. So if you were to put this in a case and close it on top of this, and even if there was a little bit of pressure, I really don't think you'd run into any problems at all with it accidentally turning on inside the case. Now, something like tactical strobe, well, does it matter that you don't have it? I mean, d does it really make a difference? To some people, I know it will. For me, personally, I don't know. I'm not like a huge tactical strobe type of guy, but then again, I'm also not the most tactical guy. So is that an important feature? Hard to say. For me personally, I don't mind that it doesn't have it. Now, one thing to consider, if you run this past about three minutes on that high mode, it will dim down to around 420 lumens. Through night actually reports it at 
427 lumens, but it does have good overall runtime. At roughly a full 130 minutes, that is so much more than you should need. If you need more than that, I would say at that point, you're really probably not going to be relying only on your weapon light, but you should have yourself a good flashlight anyway. So all in all, good runtime, good output, nice beam, excellent construction through night always doing a great job with their construction and at this point usb type c which is great so the ability to keep this charged keep it charged easily compatible with all my other cables your typical sort of hardware so the ability to switch between the glock adapter and then here you'll notice i already have that 1913 adapter on here for the picatinny rail so all in all very nicely done i do have to say through night products for me i greatly enjoy not just the case with the bss v4 but now also the tw10 so all right guys thanks for stopping by i hope you like what you saw i hope you found it a little bit informative if you like what you saw please like share and subscribe and as always thanks for stopping by take care now i'll see you soon